Hey, um, the, f- the first question I thought about today, the big news story of the day is the horrible, ugly scenes at the George Pell funeral. We had protesters actually screaming at mourners. The, the sickly, darkly humorous sight of protesters playing ACDC's Highway to Hell to mourners as they went into the cathedral. I mean, um, Warren, uh, you guys are all brave, but would you dare do a Cardinal George Pell funeral cartoon? Oh, look, I thought about it, Chris. It's, um, it's a, um, it's a, an unusual kind of topic, this, because, I mean, I, I was thinking about it. I mean, George Pell is probably one of the most polarising Australians in, in recent history. But, I mean, it was a seriously ugly scene there today. I mean, the, the guy's passed away and he has so many supporters, whatever you think. And I just think whatever they were doing there was just... It was it, it was a really appalling thing to do, I reckon. Yeah, I reckon it was. Mark, I, I've, I've, I reckon this is a new sort of benchmark in Australian politics. This is sort of legitimised hate speech. Yeah, look, he, the, the old saying, you never speak ill of the dead, uh, and that wasn't on show today. I, I, I was thinking about drawing a cartoon myself, just like Warren said, of, you know, George ascending the, the stairs to the pearly gates and thinking he was almost home and there was a little handful of protesters up there as well tying ribbits to the pearly gate. But, mate, I I, I thought better. I thought um, I'm going to do a cartoon about King Charles not appearing on the $5 <laughs> note. So I, I, can't, I can't wait to see it. I'm back down. What about you, Johannes? Where are you at on this? Oh, yeah, look, ugly scenes. Um, I, I, I didn't do a cartoon about this. I, I certainly sort of watched it with interest during the day. But, yeah, I mean, um, how, how do you protest a funeral? I mean, in the end, at the end of the day, they sort of got what they wanted, didn't they? He's no longer with us. I mean, leave leave it alone, you know. But um, sadly, these people, they their switch is switched to sort of protest and that's what they do. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, that's their mindset. I guess it- I guess if the mourners aren't singing Highway to Hell, they could be singing Back in Black, I guess, something like that. <laughs> something like that. <laughs> well, I don't know that George Pell was a great ACDC fan, but I know he was a great Richmond supporter. Hey, um, I, 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 I reckon another big story that's going to go on for a long while is that Jim Chalmers essay. I showed oh. Johannes's cartoon last night. Oh. I think we can pop it up now where he's got him coming, trying to come up with a name, a new taxonomy for this form of economics, and he's called it Communism. Warren, you're going to have a bit of fun. You're going to have a bit of fun with Jim Chalmers, aren't you? Chalmerisms for years to come. What do you reckon, Warren? Oh, me? Sorry, yes. No, look, I was just going to say, that's such a beautiful cartoon, and I love Jim, the way that Johannes has drawn Jim Chalmers. It's about as, as basic as you can get. But, I mean, it was, it, it, you know, he's trying to be sort of Keynesian in what he's saying here. It was a sort of um, a bizarre thing, this 6,000-word essay that just popped up in The Australian. I mean, frankly, he'd be better off actually just running running the economy rather than yes. just sit down and get some masterpiece to throw in the odds. Yeah. I wonder if he put in for some <laughs> overtime right. over this. Or maybe, maybe, he's, maybe he's like um, Monique Ryan's staff and he, and, <laughs> and he overworked them oh. putting it together for them.